Hey guys, it's Peyton, and today I'm going to do my top five worlds. At number one, I have the Selection Trilogy's world. I just loved it. I thought it was so cool, and all I wanted to do was just keep pouring in more information about how this works. At number two, we have the Shadow Falls series. I know I keep putting this in videos, but... I really love this world, how no one really knows about the supernaturals, but the government does. And then they have these camps for supernaturals. I just, I love it. I can't get enough of it. It's so good. At number three, we have the Vampire Academy world. I love how there's half human slash vampires who guard the good vampires from the bad vampires. And it's just, it's, I, it's just so cool. I love it. Read these. At number two, we have The Throne of Glass World. I, I love this. These books are so cool, absolutely amazing. And the world is so awesome. I just, I want to live there, but then it's really creepy there. The Perfect Fantasy World, I love it. At number one, we have the fabulous Mortal Instruments books. Even though I'm still reading City of Fallen Angels, I think I can say I really love the Shadow Hunter world. It's so awesome. Like, I think everyone's read it. How did Cassandra Clare think of this? I just don't get it. Like, how the tattoos and just boom, boom. I don't get it. It's demons. Scary. Okay, so that's my list for top five worlds and you're probably like whoa where's Harry Potter I've only read three of the books so I don't feel like I'm a good enough judge of it and really Hogwarts scares me from the movies I've seen and the books that I've read of it there's always something bad going on at Hogwarts people dying I saw the last movie in theaters I cried even though I didn't know the characters, it, it, it was scary. Because I guarantee you, if I was there, I, I would have been one of the dead kids. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, comment down below, and have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye.